Intel has launched its latest generation of processors with a promise of faster performance and longer battery life. I'm joined now by Naveen Shinoy, who leads strategy and product development. Very nice to talk to you. Thank you. Good to be here. So Intel is calling this release a, quote, pivotal moment for the chipmaker. Why? Well, when you think about what's happened in the industry, this is a very rare moment in time when we have this amazing innovation with sixth gen generation core paired up with the innovation from one of our partners, Microsoft. And both of these technologies, Windows 10 and sixth gen core, are coming together at a really important time. We think that now is an amazing time for people to go out and buy a new machine when you look at the benefits of what sixth generation core uh, and Windows 10 delivers to the consumer. So we know PC sales have been lagging. What does this new product do for a consumer? What's going to inspire them to go out and buy a newer generation computer? Sure. Um, I thought I'd just show it to you for a second. This, this is the sixth generation core processor. It's in my hand here. And you can see that it's about the size of a, a, a P, a very small product that delivers amazingly large benefits when compared to older PCs. You can, a, a person buying a sixth generation core PC will see about two and a half times the performance, about three times the battery life, about 30 times the graphics in a system that is half as thin or half the weight of what uh, their five-year-old system has. So when you compare that new PC to the old PC, we just think that that delta is huge now and it will compel people to come into the market and buy a new machine. So what do you think is the coolest feature with this Skylake? Well, I think it's a combination of all the things you know from Intel. Um, the performance benefits, the battery life benefits, the form factor benefits, but that's not all. We, we also think that the new features that Windows 10 is bringing together with 6th generation core are really amazing. Things like using your face to log into your machine, using special cameras from Intel. Um, things like being able to talk to your machine with the Cortana feature in Windows 10. Uh, these are the kinds of new capabilities that people have never been able to do before, uh, in addition to having smaller and thinner and lighter and faster machines. Although we still have this mobile trend going. We do, and I think that's great. I think there's space for mobile. I think there's space for new two-in-one-like devices. This is an example from one of our partners. This is a sixth-generation core system from Lenovo. And you can see that it opens up into a nice you know, PC-like form factor, but of course you can detach the keyboard, you can carry it around like a tablet, it's super sleek, super thin. And so more and more PCs are being influenced actually by that mobile, mobile trend thinner, lighter, longer battery life PCs that we think people are going to love when uh, these systems hit the market uh, this holiday season. Let's talk about the rollout. I believe you're rolling out in Asia first. When do you roll out in the U.S.? And what projections can you share publicly about what you're hoping for in terms of sales numbers? Yeah. Um, yeah, we are launching in Asia uh, right now. We, the official launch was today. And we will be rolling this out uh, into the U.S. and Western Europe at the end of this month. And then you could expect to see more and more OEMs bringing out their products over the course of October and November as we head into the important holiday season. Um, we're not sharing specifics in terms of the numbers, but I can tell you that our 14 nanometer process that sixth generation core is built on is very healthy, is ramping rapidly. We've shipped millions of units into our customers' hands already. And uh, we could expect to see lots and lots of product on the shelf this holiday season. Naveen Shinoy, thanks so much for your time. Great to be here. Thanks. I'm Rhonda Schaffler for The Street.